In the last four years, there's been an increase of 5% in child labor. That's 8.4 million children. And it's the first increase in over 20 years, bringing the total number of children in child labor to 160 million. To end child labor, we need to stand together. And we're going to need the whole world to help. That's why, in 2021, the International Year for the Elimination of Child Labor, the ILO teamed up with JM International to call on the world's musicians to lend us their songs, their instruments, and their voices. We created the Music Against Child Labor competition, an initiative to help raise awareness and inspire action to act against child labor. We brought together some of the world's leading musicians to judge the entries and support the campaign. A.R. Rahman from India. The power of music lies in its ability to make people feel certain emotions, to connect and to bring us together. Ralph Johnson from the United States from the band Earth, Wind and Fire. Child labor affects the most vulnerable and the least protected. With COVID-19, job losses and family illnesses, a lot of the work that has gone forth could be undone if we don't act right away. Laura Pausini from Italy. Education and music can make a difference and empower children by building their skills and, crucially, by encouraging them to go to school, to remain in school, and to succeed in school. Juan Diego Flores from Peru. Working with children, I have seen how learning music and performing together in orchestras and choirs builds their confidence and self-esteem. It encourages them to continue their education, develop strengths and values for the future. And Lokwa Kanza from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. What I like the most in music is this power, this magic, like the sun that rayonnes in us, that transcends the beings, that us amène à nous élever. We received an outstanding 200 plus powerful music entries from over 50 countries. Our jury then selected six exceptional winning songs from five countries. Two global winners were invited to perform a virtual concert on the 10th of June, the International Day Against Child Labour. They were Bernice from Burkina Faso, winner of the global category. Music Crossroads Academy Zimbabwe Students Band from Zimbabwe, winner of the Grassroots category. <laughs> Benewend from Burkina Faso, winner of the Clear Cotton Prize Burkina Faso. Virginie Dembele from Mali, winner of the Clear Cotton Prize Mali. Ahmad Faraz from Pakistan, winner of the Clear Cotton Prize Pakistan. And Jose Zevallos del Carpio from Peru, winner of the Clear Cotton Prize Peru.
The winning videos have been screened at ILO global and regional events across all continents. And live performances by the clear cotton prize winners were held in Burkina Faso and Mali. Together, we outreached over 1 million people through online and social media, with the songs being viewed thousands of times and counting. Our heartfelt thanks go out to all the musicians, fans and friends for joining the fight against child labour and being a part of the Music Against Child Labour initiative. What can you do? Share the songs and dedicate a song or concert to the campaign. For more info and to watch these amazing songs, check out www.musicagainstchildlabour.org.